Jay Underwood, Keith Urban from the big finale. One of the great moments from last night. Stop dragging my heart around. She is awesome. She and is. it really was the end of an era. American Idol launching the careers of so many talented performers over the course of its 15 seasons. We're going to talk to our star studded panel of Idol alumni in just a moment. But first, here's Chris Connolly taking us behind the scenes. Who will become the next American Idol? From its 2002 debut, American Idol was star making. Kelly Clarkson. And heartbreaking. The journey ends where Sweet Showbiz dreams came true. Jordan Sparks! Or collided with harsh reality. The day the music died. It just did. We its 15 seasons seemed to reshape the entertainment landscape. It launched out of nowhere sensations like Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood. Here in the dark. And you didn't have to win to have an impact. Adam Lambert hit big. So what do you want from me? Play Aiken won a million hearts. And Jennifer Hudson won an Oscar. Viewers enjoyed the flash and foibles of its contestants. She face! She face! Along with the ever unpredictable behavior of beloved judge Paula Abdul. But not everyone loved it when Simon Cowell seemed to cross the line. You do the links, no, sweetheart. No, but you're not making I'll, sense. I'll do the Ryan judging. Seacrest. Oh, don't call me sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart. We don't have that kind of relationship. Or this controversial exchange about a season five auditioner. Do we have a bigger stage this year? She's got like a Frenchie. Forget power. Frenchie, she's like France. And here are three things you might not know about Idol. Such soon to be successful singers as Kobe Kelly. always know. And Lady Antebellum's Hilary Scott say they never made it past their idol auditions. Tori Kelly did make it to Hollywood Week and got cut, and she just got nominated for a Best New Artist Award. And I'm feeling it. Over the years, contestants thought some songs were cursed. When people did the song Feeling Good by Nina Simone, they went home. There was one night where two contestants sang it on the same night, and they both went home. In a first-person look back on his 50th birthday, Simon Cowell would confess his own inadequacies. You feel that everyone is laughing at you behind your back. He'd write about himself. That's because they are. You okay? There were more tears than laughter as Idol left the stage for good last night, the 21st century's most commercially significant show thus far, and the perfect place for a moment like this. For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News, Los Angeles. What a great look back. We've got the American Idol stars join us from Los Angeles. Season three winner, Fantasia Barino. Season two winner, Ruben Studdard. First season's run up, Justin Guarini. Also, Kate Coyne here from People Magazine. And Kate, you know, President Obama said it in the show last night no show ever like American Idol. No, really, th there hasn't been. And it created a, a genre. The, the reality talent competition didn't exist before a, a American Idol sort of ushered it back in, recreated it, and, and made it a sensation, and made so many stars in the process, which really sets it apart from, from the other shows that are out there right now that still haven't produced that kind of Kelly Clarkson, you know, Carrie Underwood. Those people have not come off of The Voice yet, and that's what American Idol did, mm -hmm. and made stars out of people like Simon Cowell. Yeah, no kidding. And, that, and that's what that's I was just going to say. It really is different than the other shows that have tried to follow. What do you think? Is it, is it just that there are so many seasons that they just have a better eye than the other show? What sets it apart? They've had a longer run at it, but I do think, especially in those early seasons, that original judging panel, having having the expertise of Simon Cowell, because the thing about Simon was, he was mean, but more often than not, he was right. So that sort of impeccable taste, you know, clearly it creates stars. Let's go out to our stars right now, Fantasia. Take us back Come to your on. first moment, that first moment of your first audition. Uh, well, I'll have to say there was a lot of powerhouses in that building uh, in Atlanta. A lot of people that were very, very talented. And so, you know, I was very nervous and I, I wanted to do my best. I'd always heard a lot about Simon, had never seen him. Uh, you know, and um, I went in and just gave all that I, all that I had. I, I want to hear from Ruben. Hi, Ruben. How are you? Great to hey, see you. Hey, how are you? Hey, I want to ask you about your first idol stage moment. Do you, what do you remember most? 
Um, I just remember, you know, coming on stage and, you know, being in the room with, you know, the, the fans that were in the room, how excited they were. And I, I remember our first day coming in into the building, watching everybody outside wait for their chance to get in the in the building was just, I, I couldn't believe they were all there for us. And, and Justin Guarini, we got to talk about Simon here. How do you get used to dealing with Simon? Uh, you know what, I was very fortunate to be uh, well received by Simon for the most part. <laughs> um, but you know what, at the end of the day, I think you nailed it on the head. He is honest and he'll tell you himself, look, if I tell these people, oh, you know, you're really great, and they continue to work for years at a craft that they're never going to go anywhere in, they're going to waste time and money and effort, and, and he'd rather just nip it in the bud. Hey, I, I completely agree, Justin. I want to uh, tell everybody, Ruben's got a single out today. It's called Can't Nobody Love You, uh, released on iTunes. Yeah. Just another example yeah. of how all of your lives were changed by this iconic show. Wouldn't you agree, Ruben? Absolutely. You know, I, I, I've been wanting to do this job since I was five years old. And so American Idol, you know, American despite everything Idol I tried, nothing worked. And American Idol was the thing that worked. So I appreciate them so much. Worked for you too, Fantasia. You went on to Broadway. You've got oh, yeah. a fifth album on the way. And last night you got to perform your new single, Ugly. And, and is there yeah. anything you want to say to the American Idol family that helped launch you? Yeah. I think we all would just say, you know, thank you. Absolutely. You know, it opened doors sure. for a lot of uh, a lot of talented young people. It's bittersweet to see it go away. I'm praying that it will come back. Um, but I thank them so very, very much. The thing about me is I've always been Fantasia. I, I guess I might be the rebel out of the whole bunch. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of ups and downs, yeah. but I've never, I've never given up, and I, I will continue to fight. And I just thank them for seeing something in me uh, that I probably wouldn't have seen in myself. I love that spirit. And your authenticity. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Justin, how about you? How has your life changed because of American Idol? Oh, mine, I mean, how has it not changed because of American Idol? I spent the past five, six years on Broadway. Um, I have a wonderful commercial out on the air where I play a character, a little sweet for Diet Dr. Pepper. Um, I leave on Sunday to go to Sweden for 11 days to work on my next album. So life is good, and, and I have American Idol and, and all these wonderful people who came after me to, to thank and for all the work that they've done because I truly feel blessed. Let's do a quick lightning ground game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, you, whoever knows oh, the answer, Shout it out. Uh oh. Who had okay. the most stage fright? Who had the most stage fright? Mm. Did any of you uh, have stage fright? I don't know. Who had the most stage fright of all of us? Yeah. Or, or just anybody that you knew. Oh my mm. goodness. Oh. I don't know. It felt good by yeah, the time we got to the live yeah, shows. Yeah, everybody mm. got really comfortable. Yeah. I always get nervous before every show, so sure. you know. But by the time I get out there, yeah, okay, then I, we'll try a different one. How about the? Your, on stage. How about your favorite moment on Idol that no one ever saw? Oh. Uh, my favorite moment on Idol uh, that no one ever saw was the prayer that we would have in the Coke Lounge every um, oh. every episode. That's sweet. Um, oh, yeah, that's I really. Yeah, I mean, no, we we did. We, we prayed together. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end it. We're going to end it with a little Simon moment. What do you guys remember being like the worst thing that Simon ever said to you? Mm. Wow. Mm. Or to someone. What was something that he said that just made your job? I didn't drop? get a lot of tough things, but there is one thing that he said that I was just like, you know what? I accept it now. He said, I don't think you ever put those lips to better use. I was singing the song. <laughs> wow. Just, just towed the line well, on thanks, that one. Thanks, Simon. Towed the line. <laughs> <laughs> Even the compliments have a little edge right there. Okay. You guys were great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.